Reddit. What was your wow? I'm officially an adult now moment. When I was standing in a room at work with four other co-workers and one said I need an adult and all four of them turned and looked at me. This story needs to be told. What is the situation? I'm curious now. I don't feel like an adult as much as I do a child with an ever expanding list of responsibilities that keep changing as soon as I figure them out. Yeah, that's pretty much adulthood. I keep waiting for this magic day where I'll feel like a grown up. I have a wife, two kids a mortgage and a decent job where I manage people. I just recently switched from wearing shirt to polo shirts in my everyday life just to see if that spurs it on. I lived alone at the time and came down with a horrible bout of food poisoning. Threw up all over my kitchen floor trying to make it to the bathroom, and realized that for the first time in my life, I had to clean it up myself. I had to drag my sick, feverish, nauseous, sad, sorry but around while I cleaned up the mess, then proceeded to lay down on the tiled floor in the bathroom and cry because I'd finally realized that I was an adult and I was all alone with nobody to take care of me. Nothing makes a fully independent adult miss their mum quite like being sick. I guess also when I asked for a new set of bedsheets for Christmas and was overjoyed to receive them. But I definitely couldn't afford to buy the fancy high thread count cotton sheets I was gifted. That's for sure. When I was 19 and it was a very real possibility I'd have to take my mum to court for custody of my younger brother. It didn't end up happening but there was a lot of planning and consideration done. And I've never really gone back to how I was before. Also, when I got excited about buying my first Dyson vacuum. I didn't like the grass looking so brown. So I bought a hose and now really enjoy watering my grass. I used to smoke green to calm down. Now I water it. A few years ago I had a dream where a car I was driving went through the wooden barriers of a pier and careened into the water. I struggled to escape the submerged car and eventually made it to the surface where I gasped for air. The first thought I had was not about surviving the fall. It was frick. My insurance premium is going to skyrocket. This reminds me of a dream I had last week of my kids using the full decoration towels in the guest bathroom. I woke up pee, and then weirded out about why I cared so much about towels. The second time I bought condoms. The first time was motivated by hope, but the second time was motivated by responsibility. Had a female cashier ask me if I had a permit for condoms one time Lomeo. Wanted to die at that moment, but looking back, she funny. 72 year old uncle had cancer. He never had his own kids, my dad was never around. So he was my dad. The time comes. He is deep into stage 3 myeloma. Had pneumonia. Been through 3 rounds of chemo. Had his lungs drained 4 times. There with my mom. He's her brother that was a freaking rock for her through a bunch of shit bags. And the oncologist says sir. We can continue. But I can't offer any sort of guarantees. Then it just kinda trails off. It was just me and my mom. The guy said sis so he was talking to me. Maybe a minute that felt like a full day goes by and he kinda touches my shoulder. Sir, what would you like to do never occurred to me like 15 years prior what healthcare power of attorney actually meant. Just said yeah man if you do some dumb crap and gotta get your foot cut off I'll sign and we both laughed. Uh, dang, I'm sorry, man. My condolences. I was 26 and dating my, now, wife. Unbelievably sick. She took me to the doctor. I'm in the exam room with her, curled up into a ball on the table waiting. She asks me how I'm feeling and out of nowhere I just thought, and said, I don't have a will. Before this A, eh, I'm sick but I'll get better. There and after, I am dying and should get my house in order. Thought you meant it like I don't have a will, to live, lol. I've told this before. But when I took my newborn son to the pediatrician for the first time and filled out the paperwork, I got to the blank for emergency contact. The instruction said that this is usually the mother. So I started to write my mother's name in it. But then I remembered that the mother was actually me. Sort of a quiet, life-changing moment. The first time my wife had to deal with a medical issue after we got married, the doctor handed her paperwork to me, not her. It dawned on me that I could now make medical decisions on her behalf. That blew my mind. When I got married recently, lived with my significant other for a while, had a job etc. 
but there is just something that feels very adult about saying my husband. I remember being able to call my wife wife for the first time. Losing my older sister 4.5 years ago, I was 28 at the time. My brain finally clicked and went so loss will define the rest of my life, lost my dad 2 years later, and kind of solidified that thought in my head, and now I am one, miss you both. It's not all loss, reach out. My family was at a playground once, and there were some teenagers playing on a special swing designed for special needs and disabled kids, it was extra wide and deep, had straps, etc. The teens were standing on it, leaping off of it, kicking it, just kinda horsing around and showing off. My wife was upset by it, she's especially sympathetic to special needs kids since we have twins on the autism spectrum. It was the only swing like it, and they could have broken it, so I decided to speak up. I shouted across the playground, in a voice deeper than I intended. Hey, come on, that swing is for special needs. Knock it off before you break it. I expected a confrontation, but they instead just kind of slunk away, looking more embarrassed than anything at being yelled at by an adult. I was working an entry level job with a couple of my college friends. We were all in our late 20s at this time, and had just happened to all get jobs at the same place. I lived a bit further outside of town than they did, so I passed an old, run, down gas station on the way into work every day that I usually stopped at for some breakfast and coffee. My officially an adult moment came when I found myself telling my friends at work about this great deal on coffee I get at this old gas station down the street, and instead of falling on completely deaf ears, my tales of cheap coffee were surprisingly met with ooze, as, and dang, that's a good deal. It only later occurred to us that we sounded like a bunch of 60 year old men at a diner. We got together and instead of getting drunk, we discussed the perks of various medical aids and gap covers. When I made a mistake at work and, instead of trying to hide it or shift the blame, owned up to my manager about it and helped fix it. This can also get you a long way in terms of work. It shows you are willing to take responsibility and correct things. It is amazing how many people still will place blame on anything but them in the workplace. I've run into this so much throughout my career. Traveled alone in Europe last week and met some nice Canadian 20-somethings. They invited me bar hopping. An hour later, I'm tired and excused myself, but not before first asking if everyone was going to get home alright. It was midnight and I'm in my early 30s. From another Canadian. Thanks for being a nice person. Just last week my GF and I saw a groups of 21 year olds out for one of three birthdays at the bar and it made us too. 29. Feel old as frick. It wasn't so much that they looked young, they did, but more so the way they dressed, the songs they played on the jukebox, the way, and words they used, talked to each other, and how they acted at the bar. They didn't do anything wrong and were all cool they just seemed so alien to me. 33 in a few months over here, I look decently young and a few months ago, a 19 year old hit on me at a bar, I remarked I could be your mother, I'm so old, he told me his mom is 34, youch. When my friends and I stopped a poker game to have a heated discussion about the pros and cons of buying a house, our 401 case, and the future of the market, these are the same guys that do butt shots and post them on snapchat. Knowing how to perfectly fold a fitted sheet. I used to have to watch a YouTube video every time but now I can do it perfectly in just a few seconds. Whoa now, I'm an adult, not a freaking warlock. Spent over a grand of my own money on a necessary dental surgery. A bit rough as I was at uni but heck did I feel responsible. When you lose a tooth as a kid the tooth fairy brings you a dollar. When you lose a tooth as an adult the tooth demon takes a thousand. I'm sort of feeling it for the first time now. My job is being made redundant. I've been here since I started working and it's scary. I live by the 2 year rule. If in 2 years I haven't moved up significantly or really love the job, I find something different. I'm lying. My wife finds me something different. You need to make more money and have better benefits. I'll fill out some applications for you. Luckily I have the skill to pass an interview. LOL. I was starving so I searched my fridge for food and found hot pockets and decided to make one. 
After devouring it I grabbed the box again and was about to heat another one until I noticed on the back the suggested serving size is one and I told myself that I had enough. I really wanted ice cream after last week since it was so gd hot. Went shopping early yesterday because I'm old and hate crowds. I talked myself out of ice cream at two different stores because I don't need to gain any additional weight especially since I'm supposed to see the doctor next month. I'm 41. Once getting out of high school only to find out that if I don't get into a trade or earn a degree I'll be making the same pay as a high schooler 10-15 years from now. My first interview out of uni was about a month after I finished it. Had to drive to just north of Manchester for it. About 5 hours. In my crappy little 86 Peugeot 205, wearing a suit where the jacket was a bit too big for me, shirt and tie etc. Got the job it turns out. Anyway, on the way back I stopped for fuel. Older guy, maybe in his 40s, behind the counter said just fuel today sir. I said yes thanks, and I'll never forget thinking as I was waiting for the receipt to print. Wait did he just call me sir? Is that correct now? Ha, huh. yeah, I guess I am a sir now, at 21. Sure I was legally an adult at that age, but I still felt like a teenager. I'm 21 right now, and whenever store employees call me sir I do a double take. I want to say something like no, I am a child in a man's body, don't be fooled. Losing my excitement at receiving letters through the post. What was once exclusively letters from friends and lovers have sadly turned to exclusively bills. Saw a reddit comment responding to someone my age that started with you're barely an adult. All the years prior it was always you're not even an adult yet. A pretty minor thing but it made me realize that in the eyes of society I'm not a kid anymore. And that frankly I feel like more of an adult nowadays than a kid even though it feels like I'm still in the process of fully becoming an adult. Wait till people in public start saying that lady that man about to you. When I started getting excited about getting grocery store gift cards for birthdays and Christmas like yes I can buy the good cheese this week. Roommate didn't qualify for the lease, so I had to be the sole name on it, with them just listed as an occupant. While I wasn't sure this was all a good idea, I thought I would be a bad friend not to give them a chance. Roommate didn't pay rent, threw tantrums, wore out welcome, had to kick them out. Realized that I had to take a second job to pay the rent. I was ultimately responsible for putting myself into this situation with my roommate. And therefore I had no one else to shoulder the burden. I just had to pull up my grown up pants and make it work. I realized that as an adult. I would have to either change the way I trusted people. Or be willing to deal with the consequences. It's easy as a child to say that you will always give someone a chance. But once you grow up. Giving people chances takes on a new meaning because it's often going to take something from you. I was out cycling and I wanted to do a certain route. It was getting dark so I tried to turn on my headlight but it was out of battery. I decided to cut my ride short instead of risking it and riding my desired route without the proper safety equipment. I went to a Christmas party last year and all of my close friends were mostly talking about their work. Bitcoin. How much taxes they got away with paying and what kind of car they would buy next. I remember thinking, crap, the end is near. Personally, I feel once I finish my studies and start paying off my student loans, embracing adulthood will be inevitable. I was out sick from work and the next day the HR lady asked if I'd like to use one of my paid days off. This blew my mind that they would pay me to not be there. More than getting a driver's license or losing my virginity or any of the normal markers used this was what made me go I'm an adult now. When I bought a new, used, car after my Astra died, and I didn't have my mum with me to sort it all out like I did when I was 18, I did it all on my own, and it felt so surreal. I think there were two. I'd say about 3-4 years ago I got socks for Christmas and got W-A-Y-Y-Y too excited about it. Most recently and elderly I was listening to the radio. Post Malone's song Rockstar was on and he said all my homies got the gas and there he smoking like a rasta. I thought to myself, can they really say that on the radio? What if kids are listening? Birth of my first child. Checked out, went and pulled the car around as they were wheeling her mother around. Opened the door and we both looked at each other like, they are just gonna let us leave with a baby like this no instructions, no book, 
just a good luck guys look, was pretty scary because we really had no idea what we were doing. Definitely uncharted territory. I got knocked up on purpose and everyone was happy for me no one asked if we were keeping it. Baby girl due in January. Congratulations X. There's probably been many moments, but starting my own company with two other guys when I was in my early 20s. I remember holding the papers I received from the business registry stating the company is now registered and I was like I guess I'm not a kid anymore. Looking forward to get clothing over other objects from my family for Christmas birthday. Then doing laundry when the basket gets full instead of doing it when I run out of clothes. I wait until I have two days of clothes left, then take it to the laundromat. Those guys will wash, dry, and fold it for one dollar a pound. Money well spent in my book. I'm married. We have four kids. We're grandparents. I'm a part-time teacher and I've taught one my students kids. I own a few houses. I'm not an adult. I only act like one to get the adult crap done so I can continue not being an adult. Most recent episode I spent the 4th of July ripping my basement toilet off the basement floor so I could run 75 featuring of clean out cable under my house and yard instead of going to my parents for a cookout. The 5th of July, my 30th birthday, was spent working for 8 hours, then coming home and cleaning up the mess in the basement with the help of my wife and in-laws. Bought a house in May, it's nice but I keep getting letters from a guy's named Bill. He always asks for money and it's annoying. Meeting with some of my oldest friends, who I used to hang with practically every day, for lunch on a weekday. We all work in similar careers, and something about three guys getting together in the middle of our work days, two of us in between meetings, and commiserating about office politics and customer BS over bowls of ramen made me think so this is a business lunch. Huh. Somehow, it just made me feel like I had arrived in real adult life. I was in university, and I was at a urinal when my professor walked into the one next to me and starts peeing. About halfway through, he leans back and fires a snot rocket into the toilet and proceeds like nothing happened. It was at that moment I realized I was as grown up as I'd ever be. I realized that all of the illusions of grandeur I had growing up was just that. Illusions. Not to say that dreams don't can't come true, but for the most part, we, I, will live as average and mediocre as possible. There's nothing wrong with being average, but it was a terrifying realization to have as a young person becoming an adult. I will never be a great athlete, I can be good for amateurs, but I will never be at the Olympics breaking records. I will never be a scientist that discovers the cure for some crazy disease or infection, but I can enjoy learning little bits here and there. I will never be a millionaire that turns politician, but I can enjoy some conversations over a decent dinner in my backyard. The realization that I am just another head in the crowd was tough, but so very cathartic. I am no longer trying to live up to crazy dreams and expectations. I am living to enjoy the little time I have left. I'm just a regular dude, and I like it. Plus I love getting socks for Christmas. New socks are the best. Car dealership. So we're getting you 0% interest on that. Me. What? Nah. That's crap you give to adults. Not people like me. Car dealership. Sir. You're 32 years old. Me. Crap. When kids started earnestly asking me if I was married and following up with a confused why not when I would tell them no. I'm a spinster at the ripe old age of 23. For me. It was cutting my mother out of my life. It has been almost 6 years now, and I can say that my life is significantly better. I have two little ones and at times, I wanted to cave because I needed help, but I realized that introducing her for my selfish reasons and not because there was a loving, safe relationship there was wrong for so many reasons and would only hurt my family as well. I still talk with my brothers and my dad quite a bit, but for her, I just ask that they not try and mend the relationship. P.S. Blood is not thicker than water. People, yes, there's something to be said for family that is there for you regardless of their needs or your needs. But let's not forget all the terrible things family can do to each other. The original version of that quote says that the blood of war is thicker than the water of the womb, signifying that the relationships that are formed through joint experiences or battles are more important significant than those only due to family. 
you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.